my son was uh, kidnapped on uh, the 6th of uh, January. Uh, that's uh, basically nine days to the polling day in Uganda. Uh, first of all, even though the focus is on my son, Balikudembe Victor Makenya, I would like to state at the very onset that there are thousands of Ugandans who have been arrested outside the law. Mm. Many have turned up dead. Others have just disappeared. Their whereabouts are unknown. So I want that to sink in that, yes, I will speak focusing on my son, but there are several other people who have been disappeared by the Museveni regime. So my son was taken on the 6th of January, uh, around midnight, uh, people went to his house yeah. uh, in a place uh, called Jalamba, that's my rural home in uh, Mpiji district in the sub count of Buama uh, in Maokota South. They knocked because my son also runs uh, a grocery store. They knocked and he thought maybe somebody wanted something late. So they opened and when they opened, the uh, people who were masked just jumped in, grabbed him. Uh, his uh, girlfriend was uh, slapped and they dragged him into two waiting Toyota hires mm. vans. Um, these vans are commonly known as drone. They are primarily used by the uh, CMI, which is Chieftainess of Military Intelligence, the intelligence arm of the army. Yeah. And also they are used by the SFC, which is the army uh, charged with the protection of the president and other special duties. In the nearby villages, there were three other people who were taken and they also have not been uh, found. So we've been looking everywhere ever since. Uh, the family two days later attempted to go to uh, Buama police station, which is about maybe 60 kilometers south of uh, Kampala on Masaka Road to file a case of a missing person. Uh, the police refused to take the statement. So we have been trying to ask mm -hmm. friends and uh, people who have connection within the military intelligence and the army and the detention centers and those who, we haven't been successful to know where my son is. Mm. 